Frenchman's Farm, 1987, directed by Ron Wei, starring Tracy Tench, David Rain, and John Malin. A woman accidentally travels back in time, where she witnesses a murder in the field near a farm. Can she unravel the mystery and bring justice to the victim after returning to the present? This was a delightful murder mystery tinged with paranormal elements. There is time travel, police computers spouting mysterious messages, a hunt for hidden treasure, a supernatural killer, and plenty of revelations made along the way. The cast was perfectly adequate in their roles. With Tench carrying the film well enough as a woman trying to prove she isn't crazy, and David Rain playing the supportive boyfriend that accompanies her while lending his singing voice to his character, who is the singer of a band. The rest of the cast is rounded out by a police department, townspeople, and other characters who help unravel the mystery along the way. One of the pleasant subversions this film had was featuring a small town, where the locals are all friendly and eager to talk about the town's history as the protagonists investigate the murder. Murder or no murder, I'd gladly go hang out in this town, it almost felt like I was on a vacation. Conversely, a happy town of nice people usually leads to a dark secret and or cannibalism. Not here. Just a nice old lady who curates a charming little museum of the town's history and a town chaplain that busts you out of the local jail when you're arrested for breaking into a crypt he showed you earlier. I could understand this being a negative for some. I mean, you usually expect a horror film to be tense and scary after all. There aren't any visual effects aside from the most rudimentary of editing methods. This isn't a film to check out if you're looking for a visual feast. According to IMDb, the VHS and DVD copies of this film have different endings, with certain key sequences missing from the DVD copy which renders the ending nonsensical. Be wary of this when tracking a copy down. Verdict recommended. There's something about this film that seriously feels like a trip to the countryside in the summertime for a few days. So pack your bags, put the top down on your convertible, and join our plucky heroes as they get to the bottom of this mystery. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for the thrilling low-budget adventure.